What's up guys, it's Machanga back with another video. Today we're taking a look at my very first Ryzen laptop, the HP Envy X360 13. Whether you're a student, photographer, working professional, casual user, or currently working from home, the performance you can get from this little powerhouse is surprisingly good. Let's go ahead and get the specs and pricing out of the way. My review unit has the AMD Ryzen 5 4500U processor with AMD Radeon graphics. You can purchase this model with up to 16 gigs of DDR4 RAM, but we have eight gigs of solid RAM in this unit, along with 256 gigs of NVMe storage for around $800. All models come with a 13.3 inch full HD display, and it's a really nice one. There are three different configurations available, starting with the Ryzen 3, Ryzen 5, and finally the Ryzen 7 if you have a slightly bigger budget. If you're in the market for a versatile everyday laptop, then I would suggest skipping the Ryzen 3 model unless you're buying it strictly for tasks like web browsing, homework, and email. I'll leave links below in the video description with updated pricing. The first thing that caught my attention while unboxing this laptop was how premium it really feels. It has an all metal build in what HP calls nightfall black. At 2.92 pounds or 1.33 kilograms, it's not too heavy, but it's also not so light that it feels like a budget device. The build quality and weight are just right on this two in one. Since I didn't do an official unboxing video, let's take a quick look at the ports we get here. On the left side, there's a 3.5 millimeter headphone slash microphone combo jack, a USB type A port, and a USB C port that offers power delivery to other devices and display out. You can also charge the laptop with this port, even though there is a 65 watt smart power adapter included in the box. Moving to the right side, we have the barrel pin charging port, another USB type A port, and a micro SD card slot if you wanna expand the storage. There is still no Thunderbolt 3 support for these Ryzen processors, but that's not new information. I love the minimalistic design of this laptop. The Nightfall Black looks really sleek and really modern. It truly screams premium. To be honest, I didn't wanna just toss this into my backpack without some kind of sleeve for protection. I expect a 13 inch laptop to have a nice compact field and footprint, and this one definitely does. While we're talking about the design, you'll see the dual speakers here on the bottom, powered by Bang and all of some audio. These are bottom firing, so they don't sound outstanding, but they're actually really good for their size and position. They get fairly loud. They aren't tinny and terrible at all. The 13.3 inch display on the HP Envy has a 16 by nine aspect ratio and a resolution of 1920 by 1080. We get some really deep blacks, vibrant and accurate colors, as well as great contrast. At around 430 nits, the level of brightness will be great for most consumers. HP claimed 400 nits of brightness, but this laptop exceeded that, so I'm happy. This is a glossy display, so don't expect top performance in direct sunlight, but in all other environments, I didn't find reflections to be an issue at all. With 96% sRGB coverage, this is a great device for photographers that use Photoshop or Lightroom. With the 88% screen to body ratio here in 2020, the slim bezels make viewing content on this display a pleasurable experience. We have a 720p webcam up top with an integrated dual array microphone and is perfectly acceptable for Google Meets and Zoom calls. It doesn't feature Windows Hello technology for logging into the laptop, but we can't have everything at this price point. If you're working from home and need to hop on a web conference, you'll be fine with this one. When you're done with your video chats and you wanna go into privacy mode, you can use the dedicated button that's right next to the power button to turn the webcam off. You'll know that it's turned off because it'll turn silver. This is a great feature from HP that all laptops should implement. Since we're talking about dedicated buttons, it's also great to see a physical button that mutes the microphone. During a time where more and more of us are working from home, we really need this. So again, thank you HP. There is a fingerprint scanner here for another layer of protection and in my testing, it's been fast and accurate. So if you're eyeing this laptop, you know it's a touchscreen convertible two-in-one that can bend and fold. 
There are so many use cases for the different folding modes, like placing it on the island in the kitchen to view recipes or to watch tutorial videos. If you want to lay it flat for writing or drawing, you can place it in tablet mode. I was lucky enough to also receive the new MPP 2.0 pen from HP that does have tilt support and real-time response to handwriting. With Intrig technology, it feels really natural to write on the display with this pen. This one supports USB-C charging and you can expect to get around 30 days of battery life out of it. If you have the pen that comes in the box with the HP Spectre or even a Surface Pro pen, they will work perfectly fine on this MB. So another important consideration when purchasing a laptop is the keyboard. First of all, I have to say I love the way this keyboard looks with the big, nicely centered font. When it comes to key travel, it's actually pretty good and there's some tactile feedback which I really like. For a smaller laptop, there's a good comfortable amount of space between the keys, making the typing experience good even for extended sessions. It does have adjustable backlighting, so writing those papers late at night in the dark won't be an issue. This is a nice size precision trackpad and it's smooth and responsive as expected. All the normal Windows 10 gestures have worked flawlessly so far. I highly recommend purchasing the configuration you're gonna be happy with and the one you plan to stick with long-term because when it comes to upgrading the hardware yourself, you can upgrade the M.2 SSD, but the RAM is soldered on. HP was thinking about the future here, so I'm happy to report that we do get Wi-Fi 6 on this Envy, as well as Bluetooth 5.0. In my time with this laptop, it has strong, fast, and stable connections to my gigabit internet with great download and upload speeds. The range is also great, so no complaints for me. I know a lot of you like performance benchmarks, so I ran some of them on this Ryzen laptop. Like I mentioned, this model has the AMD Ryzen 4500U processor with integrated AMD Radeon graphics. The results are impressive, especially if you're planning to use this for your normal everyday tasks, whether at home, school, or work. I'm not a gamer, but if you do some light casual gaming, you can get away with low settings at 1080p in several titles like Fortnite, GTA 5, the Witcher 3 and Rocket League. You also get free sync support on this thin and light laptop. This was a nice surprise from AMD and it makes it easier for me to steer users away from the Intel alternative. While I didn't scientifically test the thermals on this machine, it never got too hot even under the heavy load of running benchmarks. Of course, you'll still hear the fan working to keep it cool, but that's nothing new for almost all of the laptops on the market. If you want a bit more control over the temperature and cooling, the HP Command Center is included with the option for thermal profiles. So if you're after the absolute best performance this machine can muster, use performance mode. For a more balanced experience, keep it on HP recommended. The battery in this laptop is 51 watt hours with support for rapid charging. HP claims around 13 hours on Wi-Fi, and in my testing with normal web browsing and watching Netflix at 50% brightness, it lasted almost 11 hours, so definitely not shabby at all. The included 65 watt power adapter can get you to 100% in under two hours, so I would say battery life will be more than sufficient for most. So do I recommend the 2020 HP Envy X360? Yes, absolutely. If you've been on the fence about which option will fit your needs and you're not a hardcore gamer or mostly edit 4K video, this is the 13 inch that needs to be in your bag. I know it sounds like I've given this machine a ton of praise and I have because it deserves it. It's not perfect. You don't get a HDMI port, you don't get Thunderbolt 3 or a Windows Hello camera, and you can't upgrade the RAM. But the pros significantly outweigh the cons here. This Envy has a beautiful multi-touch display, really impressive CPU and GPU performance with the AMD hardware, long battery life, premium and modern build quality, and its price is super competitive in today's market. There is not much to complain about if you're considering an ultra portable convertible laptop. This one performs just as good as it looks. I wanna know your thoughts on this 13 inch laptop. This was my first experience with a Ryzen laptop and I have to say I'm impressed. The AMD Ryzen 5 processor really came to put on a show. I think I'll actually be slightly sad when I ship this unit back to HP. So that's gonna wrap it up for this one. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you feel like it, jump down in the comment section and let me know you like it. If you haven't already, 
Don't forget to subscribe and make sure you tap the bell icon so you'll be notified every time I post a new video. It's been a pleasure sharing with you. Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. Thank you.